Hello. I got recently a, a question on a video I, I made on this camera, the, the Pentu, uh, Pentium uh, uh, 60X that you can see here. And the question is, uh, was very simple, is uh, how do I load a film in it? So it may seem very obvious to, 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 to me, but maybe as a new user of, of a film uh, camera, you're not familiar with that. And uh, it's very similar with uh, most uh, point-and-shoot cameras. So I thought I, you know, that was probably a good idea just to show you how to, how to load a film, which is very straightforward. But anyway, for new users, so when you load a film, so I've got a, a film here. Um, you've got that part here, tab, and uh, another part like that. And you have to drag... Uh, in that case, in uh, that uh, Pentax, you, you have to drop the, the film here. In some other cameras, you have to drop the film in the other direction. So you drop it here. There is a little uh, tab here, so you've got to slide it in like that. And sometimes there's a resistance, but you, you will manage, right? And uh, once it, it's in, in, you just have to drag a bit of the film so uh, it goes a bit over it over just a bit inside here right and uh, to have it as flat as possible and then in those point and shoot camera once this is done you just have to close it okay and you see it went from um, zero to one meaning now i can shoot or if i open the camera I'm ready to shoot. I will shoot the, the first frame. Goes to two and so on, right? When I close it, when I met uh, off, I still have the, the the number of the of the film which I'm I'm using. And uh, once it's done, it will rewind it rewinds it automatically. So now we, I will do something you will never do with a. Uh, with a film camera is open it never open a film camera when there's a film inside uh, because you will ruin everything because the the principle of a, of a film camera it, it, it keeps it uh, protected to light and uh, opens it only when to, to to shoot a photo but to show you how it's done i will open it and you see the the film is is just here it's being dragged with that little uh, uh, motor so if i remove it you see the thing was dragged inside and taking pictures and pictures uh, so when it it uh, loads it it loads quite a bit of film to to uh, remove everything that might be uh, uh, I, I might have been exposed to light and then start shooting the the different uh, uh, frames uh, one after another dragging the film each time and each time okay so I hope this little little uh, presentation explain uh, how it works to, to, to load a film and I will show you also what happens if you uh, uh, for example you have too too few films so let me give give me a second up, 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 up. so imagine the film is just like that okay I drag it here just like I did but I don't drag I don't drag it long enough it's just here so when I close I get the same noise but here I will see a zero you know nothing happened uh, I know the film has, has not been loaded properly so in that case only in that case I can reopen again right you can see it's not good enough so I can drag a bit of the film a bit longer sometimes it's not enough we'll see let's try that whoa it's not working still zero okay so what you have to do is you have to drag the film long enough so that it a bit goes into there and then normally it should work right we can check that it's been working okay so very simple video
to show you how to load the film. By the way, this is a film that has been already exposed that I'm using uh, only using as a, as a as a dummy film for for demo purposes. And uh, uh, at first, that was the question was maybe it seems to me very obvious, but uh, okay, I thought, uh, maybe not uh, such a bad question. Uh, let's uh, let's show that. Hope that was helpful for new users, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.